<laughs> I think my camera can handle the colour difference. Hey guys, welcome back once again. Today I just wanted to sit down and film a nice, relaxed, almost chit-chatty style video for Halloween. And I thought I wanted to do something a little bit more fun than full prosthetics and stuff like that. And that is fun, but I just wanted to do something a little bit more simple, straight on my face, no need to rush, take it slow, and just see how it turns out. It might be hilarious. Now I recently put out some polls on my Instagram wanting to know what kind of tutorials you wanted to see this Halloween. And I literally put out a poll saying, do you want to see tutorials of new movie, like horrors or cult classic horrors, and it is dead even. So I just decided I was going to make my own decision. So today I'm going to do The Bride of Chucky, aka Tiffany, mainly because my hair kind of looks a little bit like it. And she usually has some, sorry, I'll take my sunnies off, we're inside, some pretty bad regrowth. So I thought, why not? Let's just do a fun little character. First things first, I'm going to put my hair up just so it's not going to get in the way while I'm doing my makeup. Now I'm going to block out my brows. I'm going to take my time doing this because I want it pretty much flat so you cannot see it. Because I will be drawing my brows on directly over over the top. Now I just find the easiest way to do this is just go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth with the, just the whole glue stick and then just try and brush the brows up. If you are having trouble with getting the brows up you can kind of like twirl it if that makes any sense to you. Twirl the little spoolie until they go the direction that you want. Like look at the shape of my brow when I do that. It is actually cray cray but just gonna I'm not gonna beat around the bush, just get straight on to that other eye. So how have you guys been? I am actually very interested to know. My channel has been growing quite steadily over the past like couple of months leading up to Halloween. So to all my new followers, hi, how are you? I'm Evie, I am 20, I was gonna say 23, that's a blatant lie. I am 22 and I paint stuff on my face for fun. Imagine if brows just looked like this. Like imagine if this was the social norm to just make sure your eyebrows are flat on your face and going directly up. I feel like, because my eyebrows are quite long, that if I ever went skydiving, and this is what they'd look like on the way down. I'm gonna powder it in between layers because I feel like I want them to be as sturdy as possible. I might get my big ol' fluffy furless brush, which is the softest, nicest brush. What are all you guys going as for Halloween though? Over here in the land down under, we don't really celebrate it, but any excuse to pump out as many possible looks and costumes as I possibly can in a month, I'm 100% gonna go for. So I will not be probably attending any Halloween parties because nobody throws Halloween parties. But to be completely honest, if I was having to pick one of my tutorials that I've done this Halloween, I am really loving my, 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 my Janine look from The Handmaid's Tale. I love the costume, I love the eye, I just love it all. She's an absolute crazy, crazy cat. Okay, I'm gonna go over once more. How I recommend if you are thinking about sticking down your brows, to get like a non-toxic washable glue stick. How can I not hold stuff? As this will fully dissolve once I get in the shower or wash it off with a face wash or anything like that. It will come right on off. I have Country Road Take Me Home stuck in my head and it's like I've been singing it on repeat since about 8.30 this morning. Almost heaven, West Virginia. Okay, so I'm hoping that this will be enough. I'm going to conceal them. I'm just gonna use this concealer, which is the NYX Total, no, got you covered, sorry, concealer. I'm so scared. Ah. Like, why is the whole bottle so tight? It's like puffy. That was alarming. I don't actually have a concealer brush at the moment, so I'm just using a little paint brush. You could just use your fingers, probably, but... Probably could have done another layer or two if you were really wanting them to be fully slicked back, but I figured once I drew the brow over the top, it's not gonna be that noticeable. More than anything, I'm hoping it's not gonna be that noticeable. Okay, I'm gonna set that with a little bit of powder and then do another layer. Time to get some more of this terrifying concealer out. I was feeling highly unmotivated today, so I just thought, I'm sorry, I do look ridiculous now. I just thought I'd sit down and start doing something a little bit more fun than a little bit too serious. I didn't want to film something that was going to take hours to film, mainly because I've only got an hour left on this memory card, but also because I did a big look last night and I just wasn't happy with that like, turnout, so now I'm a little bit not scared, but scared to do another big one. Now, I've been loving applying with this really dense brush that came with the Thin Lizzy. I think if you saw the review of that, I didn't try it out in that, but it came with the foundation pack. 
that they so kindly sent me. And in case you were wondering, I'm just using the Fit Me 120 by Maybelline. Why did that take me so long to figure out? Also, I really struggle to find other YouTubers to watch. Like, I always get stuck just watching the same people over and over again. And I've got, like, my top makeup people that I love watching and top gamers and stuff like that. But I just feel like sometimes I should probably branch out. And a lot of the time I get up to date with it all. And I'm sitting here, I'm like, what am I going to watch? And it's a little bit, I'm not going to say disheartening, but it's like... You find a YouTuber that you really like and they start to get big and it's not that they stop creating it but they start doing other stuff so it's they do bigger things so it happens less often or stuff like that so they just stop like putting stuff out on their regular schedule I know not everyone does but it's you still enjoy their content and stuff like that but then all of a sudden they get a bit more famous they get more subscribers they get more offers and stuff like that so they automatically their priorities change which I don't blame them at all if I would be offered stuff like that I probably would jump on it too but it's just then I'm left with having to find other people to watch and I always find that so hard so if you have any recommendations of people that you watch on YouTube any genre whatsoever I'd love to check them out. Like at the moment, I'm seriously cons like I love watching Deligracy and Sim Supply, other Australian YouTubers. They obviously do. I say obviously, I mean, you probably couldn't tell if I didn't tell you, but they do Sim games and stuff like that. They don't always do just Sims, but it's majority like 90% Sims, and I love the Sims. So whether it be Sims, makeup, just lifestyle, travel, anything. Oh, I would love to watch them. Now I do like about Tiffany is she has quite a little chunky face because she's a doll and it's a really round face. But I feel like my face is pretty much that. I mean, I'm going to do a little bit of bronzing, a little bit of contouring, but nothing too drastic because I don't want my face to look any thinner than it is. Which isn't a statement that you hear all the time. So I couldn't find my usual one. So I'm going to use this one that I was given for free when I bought my makeup resolution order, which is like this bronzing trio. So hopefully... It'll be dark enough. I spent like a solid five minutes trying to open this as well and realized that it was taped. Why am I like this? I love how ridiculous I look at the moment as well. And my contour brush, I believe, has blues and grays and blacks on it at the moment. To the place I belong. Okay, before I keep singing that song, let me know down below what's a song of yours that, like, that song just makes me so happy. For one, it reminds me of Covenant. No? Hmm, yes, Covenant, like the Alien series, Covenant. And I don't know, it's just, it makes me so happy. I'm actually quite happy with this color. It's not like perfect. I would usually probably go just a little bit darker for a nice, subtle, glowy kind of contour. This makes it look like I've been in the sun enjoying myself, which I'm gonna show you in, when I'm filming this, August in Australia, it is dead winter and it is not. There is no way I got a tan. I feel like all of my brushes are dirty, which is a sign that I should clean them however maybe I'll do that later I like to have to try and like clean them all at once I also feel like she has the cutest like slightly piggy nose as well I don't, don't know if that's really doing much but hopefully that contour is enough that you can kind of notice she also has a hella cute dimples here so I might just darken it a little bit maybe I want to do the eyebrows next because they do seem quite intense and they do seem brown like they don't seem blonde to match her hair so I think I need to go get a pen. Okay so I've just got this NYX micro brow pencil in top. Okay now I'm terrible at doing my own brows at, the brows at the best of times. Wow that was a struggle to get out. And hers are really long and thin and like perfect. No, already wrong. Oh god I can already tell this is gonna be terrible. Hmm I just feel like this is not to do its thing so I might just say screw the pencil and I might just have to do my dark Anastasia Beverly, Beverly, wow, Beverly Hills with a deep brow. I'm sorry I'm not talking while I do this, brows take all of my concentration. I feel like the brows that I've blocked out are still a little bit like too visible, so I might just have to go in with concealer after that. It's an interesting look to say the least. I'm gonna try and conceal and just neaten up the edges a little bit, hopefully. That's enough of that. I'm gonna go on and do the smoky eye that she has. I think I'm gonna use the Morphe 35B. N. Why, why do I keep thinking I have the B palette? I don't have the B palette. I have the N and the C. I think everyone else, <coughs> wow, says that they have the B, so I just assume that I do too. Country road, <laughs> take me home to the place I belong. I feel like she has quite a warm, smoky eye. Sorry, I feel, man, I feel like a woman. Bow, bow, no, 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 no. Let's go, girls. 
know that I do have a warm, smoky eye palette somewhere, so I'm gonna find it. I think I'm gonna start with the Give It To Me Straight by Colourpop. It has these nice, like, warmy brown tones. Okay, I'm gonna go on with Truth Who, Hurts. Truth Hurts, and then Frank on top of it. I feel like she kind of has it going, like, right up onto her nose. Unless this is really bad shading, so maybe I'll oh, oh, just not do that for the time being. And try and just concentrate on getting, like, a nice smoky eye to begin with, because I am no makeup connoisseur. I really don't know what I'm doing a lot of the time. Now, I absolutely love the ColourPop eyeshadows. I just feel like they're so reasonably priced. I mean, it is disappointing that they don't have an outlet like in Australia. I have to get it shipped from the US. But I mean, I'm pretty sure this whole palette is like 16 bucks. I will admit the fact that this isn't a blending brush is probably driving so many people insane right now. And I do apologize. But, oh, I, I am sorry. It's driving me a little bit insane. I feel like at the moment it does look terrible and I'm hoping that it comes together in the end. If not, this is a hot mess. And I'm probably gonna post it anyway because we can laugh at it together. But while I'm doing this, I might just tell you a little bit about myself. I have no makeup qualifications whatsoever. I, as you can probably tell, don't do beauty makeup much. I am slowly working my way up to it a little bit more. Fun to play with and it takes a lot less time than doing like a four hour makeup look. I am actually a qualified chef. That is what I do for a living. I probably should have put an eyeshadow base down. That actually would have made this whole eyeshadow look look so much nicer. But it's too late now. What are you gonna do? I currently have a a month of work, that's why I currently had a month of work because it shut over this ridiculously cold, wet time. And in that time, I decided why not try and get 31 days of Halloween done. I tried last year, but I also went to New Zealand with my boyfriend last year for all of October. So although I filmed some, I think I made, I got eight done last year. And like I tried, I think I had about 14 filmed and I was like, you know what, that'll be fine. But then I didn't get time to edit them while I was over there and everything else just got on top of me. And I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna enjoy my holiday instead of worrying about this because we didn't have internet all the time and I can't rely on like public internet to upload stuff. I will admit that this eyeshadow does look a little bit patchy and it is not the product's fault. This is 100%. My fault because I'm not using a blending brush. But speaking of poor pigmented eyeshadow, I have seen so many terrible things about the Jaclyn Hill Morphe Vault set. If like people that I like follow on Instagram have like swatched it and stuff on the stories and whatnot. So I mean like you get a fair idea of it. I mean I really feel like you can't judge something until you have tried it yourself. But there ain't no way that I will be spending like $90 on a set of eyeshadow palettes when I've heard such terrible things about it. And that's what I wonder sometimes about the, against the beauty community and at the moment that I'm filming this is the big debacle. But I wonder if sometimes people just get caught up in the idea of collaborating with businesses that they don't necessarily care how the product comes out. And if that is the case, that's really sad because your name is attached to that regardless. So you'd think you would want the best product for your customers and your supporters and people that are willing to pay exorbitant amounts of money for products that you are endorsing. But at the same time, I have heard people say, like I've seen, I haven't heard anyone personally have good things to say about it. She also does have very intense green eyes. I don't have that and I don't have any green contacts. So we're gonna have to deal with the blue eyes that I have. And there is no way that I'd wear this makeup out, but I do like how grungy this is. And I do want it to be grungy, just to clarify. I feel like she has like a ridge here, but maybe I'll get a little contour. Now I just feel like I look like a really angry, angry like Nathan. Neanderthal, wow. I struggle so much with talking, like it's not even funny at this point anymore. She also has like really nice, intense smile lines. So I feel like when I smile, it looks good, but when I don't, I look like the angriest, dirtiest old grandma you've ever seen. I feel like if you came across me looking like this in an alley, you'd be seriously concerned for your health and anyone else around you. How do I drop things? I picked it up and get it with my toes. Oh, sweet lord. Okay, everything's okay, it's fine. So I'm just really quite grungily putting that on. I'm gonna keep using the word grungily too. I'm putting it on the waterline and not caring if I get it down a little bit as well. She also looks like she has a killer wing on and I am not good at doing um, winged eyeliner, but I'm gonna, for Halloween, I'm gonna try. So I am trying the model's own double liner. It doesn't say on it, does it? My definer liner duo. 
It's got like a crayon on one end and a felt tip on the other. So, wish me luck. I already hate it. I'm not doing it. Ah, oh, here we go. I think this is like the Maybelline Hyperbore. It's like the really soft. Like as a child, if you picked up this eyeliner, you'd be like, I'm gonna get this everywhere. Like really fine. Okay, I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but I did a liner and it is a win. It's not perfect, but none of us are. I feel like she doesn't have false eyelashes on, but I feel like I want to put false eyelashes on. Now I want to do it so it's like doll eyelashes. Like, you know those creepy dolls that like, when you tip them back and forth, their eyes open? They usually have creepy as hell eyes. Eyelashes on, and I want these to pretty much do the same thing. Now these are far too big for my tiny eyes. While we wait for these lashes to dry that, I'd love to know where you guys are from. Well, let me know down below in the comment section where you guys are from. Welcome to the fam. Not a lot of us, and we're growing steadily, but welcome. Love each and every one of you guys. I feel like I want to do this contour a little bit more too. She also has this really nice and dark red lips on, which I reckon kitten heels, sorry, cherry skies by NYX might nearly be perfect for that. Also, what video of mine this Halloween brought you guys along? Was it this one? You should be luck. I take it all back. I don't want these lashes on. They are too big. So I'm gonna have to downgrade. Just letting you know also, if you did want to see just the still photos of these looks, head on over to my Instagram. I'll leave all of my social medias linked down below. If not, it is eviewillox underscore sfx. Like sfx. Yeah, I think you get it. I don't know. Okay, that one is much better. Definitely not as OTT as the other one. It was just the fact that the other one had such a thick band. I can't work with thick band. Uh, lashes. I don't know if it's just because my eyes are different shape to how it's usually curved or what, but it just doesn't sit on my eye correctly. Like if I have the two points touching, it just ends up getting wrong. It's like I have to have a cut exactly right and I'm not good at them. Now, while we wait for the lashes, the lash glue to like fully dry and fully go clear, I'm gonna put a little bit of highlight on. I know she doesn't technically have it on in the movie. Oh my goodness though. This is the Ultra Strobe Balm from Revolution Makeup. And it's like a butter, well, it's called balm, so I guess you guys probably would have known that. But like, holy hell. I've already got like stuff here, but. I really don't know if you guys can see that very well, but that is so gold. That's the problem I have with like, buttery things. How do I apply it? I'm just gonna say screw it and do it with my finger. Like it's definitely not removing the product underneath, but I feel like once it's rubbed in it, you, like loses its shine a little bit. I'm gonna use the Everyday Shadow from the Sophie, Soph, sorry, collab with Makeup Revolution. I feel like that's definitely doing a better job. My favorite highlight is like the tip of, you know, the Cupid's bow of your lips bridge. Sometimes if I'm feeling a little bit crazy, I'll go the chin. Oh no. I think I dipped it in the orange when I wasn't looking. Why do I do this to myself? Why am I not surprised? Of course I sabotage myself like that. I also like the highlight in this look because it kind of makes you look a little bit plasticky. And because she's a doll, it kind of works. Okay, so using the NYX Tress guys, I'm gonna go in and do quite an intense lip. I love that lip. I feel like I almost want to do like a little bit of a darker middle of the lip. I might regret doing this, but you only know if you do it. I like it, not gonna lie. Before I forget, I'm gonna do this contour a little bit more. So I I thought she had a mole. Like a beauty spot, I should say. I'm actually pretty happy with the turnout, guys. I don't have a leather jacket, however. Okay, guys, so as you can probably tell, background is different and I look pretty average. But the camera decided not to film the last, I'm gonna say, four minutes of this tutorial when I filmed it the first time. So I've just quickly reapplied pretty averagely, you might be able to tell. I'm just gonna reenact the last couple of minutes for you. I do have my little sister sitting in over the back watching, which I've never had happen before. But before I go any further, I'm gonna put a little beauty spot here. I'm not sure actually what side of her lip she has it on, but I'm gonna put it here. I feel like that's where I want it. So just with a little bit of the, the dip brow, wow, I cannot speak, on a little, a little fine brush. And there we go. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. This is my take on Tiffany, Chucky's bride, of course. This is a quick, easy Halloween tutorial. You do not have any special effects makeup on hand and you're just wanting something last minute. The only thing that's really out of the ordinary here is the glue stick to stick your eyebrows down. But thank you so much for watching guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification button wherever it may be. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.